and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids or One Four Seven, and today is tip and trick number thirty-five, and this is in relation to your trays. You need to look after your trays. So, this is um, for, more for people that may have been diamond painting for a little bit. And that's not in relation to experience level, that's just in relation to they've used their tray more. Um, what you may find is that your tray starts, the diamonds don't move as freely um, in the tray after it's been used for a bit. Now, it can be for a couple of different reasons. So you can have diamonds that come maybe with a little bit more trash a little bit more of those little plasticky bits um, and you may find that they end up on your tray in places. You may also find that bits of wax get onto your tray. Sometimes they're visible to the eye, sometimes they're actually not really depending on the colour of your tray. Um, sometimes they just there's just that residue of wax whether it be from let me grab a pen. Whether it be from you having a row of diamonds and you using your pen to like scoot the diamonds together a bit or move them down. So sometimes once you've shaken your tray, you know, I like to scoot my diamonds up a little bit so that they're all together really near to the painting. Uh, maybe that you've had the odd diamond that's the wrong way up and you're trying to flick it over so that you can pick it up. Things like that can end up with little bits of residue. I think I've got a few on the back of this one, actually. Uh, a few bits of glue dots, they look like. But you can just find that some of your diamonds don't move as freely as you remember them moving before. Um, yeah, your tray needs a clean, people. That's what it is. Your tray just needs a little bit of a clean up. And that's why it's more for that diamond painters that have been diamond painting a while because they've had a chance to get their tray a little bit mucky and it's not always visible muck either I say sometimes it's just those little bits of remnants of glue that are actually just stopping the diamonds from moving freely so when it comes to that get your baby wipes whether you have babies or not my youngest is 17 I still need a pack of baby wipes in my house. Um, they're very handy for many things, but they're extremely handy for cleaning your tray. And my trays do need a clean. So I'm just quite simply wiping over them. I am gonna try and wipe over these back bits as well, because I think that's, yeah, that's glue dot residue. <laughs> I was trying to work out if this tray is one where the printer would pick something up and that's why it was in because every now and then I, I you know if a, if a tray doesn't print quite properly on the printer it becomes my tray rather than being sold um, this one's got a little little tiny yellow residue from yellow filament so it became my tray but yeah all those little black dots that were around the back have gone. I'm going to do the same with one of my little ones, my little zesty trays. This one's not been used as much, but while I'm here, while I've got a baby wipe, I'm just going to give it a clean, let it dry, and that's it. Jobs are good. That's all you need to do. So don't forget your trays. If you do find that diamonds don't seem to be gliding as much as you're used to they don't seem to move about in the tray then just get yourself a baby wipe and just give your tray a wipe down and a clean I mean you can just shove it in with your washing up if you want you know what I mean it's it'll it'll cope with a with a good old dishwash um and let it dry while you're there you might want to you know, give your pen a little bit of a wipe down, a little bit of a a clean and spruce up, spruce up your space, make sure that's not got any residue from maybe you tapping the end of your glue dot and you've not ended up with any residue on on your pen because of that. But yeah, today's tip and trick. Give your space 
your diamond painting space and I'm going to do a little bit of my table while I'm here because I've just spotted some of it is that one is a scratch but the other bits weren't um, yeah spruce up your diamond painting space give it a little bit of a clean up of your trays and your utensils let them dry and you'll be back to your diamonds going exactly where you want them to cross fingers um, and make that process just a little bit more enjoyable so anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.